What you doing, Roxy? Huh? What are you doing? You're a good girl. Yes. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Good View Woodworks channel. My name's Nathan, and if this is your first time here, consider subscribing. Have you ever thought to yourself, hey, I wanna do an epoxy project, but you're thinking to yourself, man, all those tools I need, it's gotta be super expensive. Well, today, I'm gonna show you the top five tools that I think are necessary when attempting an epoxy project. And the good thing is, they won't break the bank. So, Tool number one, you might not consider this a tool, but I think it's very valuable, is a mixing cup. And the reason why is the first thing that you do before you start the project is you have to mix the epoxy properly. And what I like about these mixing cups is they have graduations here on the side, which makes it easy to pour the right amount of hardener and the right amount of epoxy. So what I generally do is I fill it up. This is a two and a half quart cup. And what I like to do is I'll pour one liter or one quart of hardener first because the hardener is thinner and then next I'll pour in the epoxy which is a lot thicker it's more like syrup and I'll pour in the second quart and because you have the lines here it's very easy to get the exact same amount of each product. Tool one is the mixing cup. Tool number two Tool number two is a mixer that goes into your drill. The cool thing about this is that when you're mixing a big batch of epoxy, like in the mixing cup earlier, it takes a lot of effort to mix with a stir stick. So instead of using a stir stick, you can get one of these. It's very easy, it goes into any drill and you're able to mix the epoxy a lot more evenly and a lot more, a lot quicker. But what you wanna do is when you are mixing your epoxy with the mixer, you want to make sure that you scrape all of the sides and the bottom to make sure you have everything mixed. This tool is very, very handy and pretty inexpensive. You also don't have to worry about cleaning any of the epoxy off of the tip of the mixer. It just gives, when it dries, it just gives you more edges to help mix up the, the newer epoxy and it won't break off either. Tool number three is a notch trowel. But see, this notch trowel, unlike most of the ones you've probably seen, this is plastic and not metal. And I like this one because it's smaller. So if you're doing smaller projects, it's a lot more easy to use. It's a lot, you can handle it a lot easier when you're going over small projects. Also, it has different size notches for whatever thickness that you want on the top. Most of the time, you're gonna to wanna to use an eighth inch notch. See, so this one has an eighth inch. It has a quarter inch and 16th inch. But most of the time, you wanna use your eighth inch notches, either this one or this one. And the cool thing is, it's plastic. It's, it's pretty inexpensive. And whenever you want to break the old epoxy off, all you gotta do is bend it a little bit and peel it off. This tool is pretty much invaluable. It only costs a couple of bucks. Tool number four is a shower squeegee. And I know what you're thinking. How in the world does a shower squeegee work with epoxy? But what I like to use this shower squeegee for is whenever I'm using epoxy and wood together, I use the shower squeegee to apply the seal coats of epoxy. Because wood is porous, when you apply the first level of epoxy and you heat it up, it's gonna, the air moisture is gonna wanna come out of the top of the wood and it's gonna wanna create air bubbles. You, air bubbles in epoxy are no bueno. So what this tool is used for is to apply a thin coat of epoxy over top of your wood projects for your seal coats. Another cool thing is because the tip is rubber, same thing just like the, the spreader I showed earlier, you can just bend it and break the epoxy off just like that. And you have yourself a clean spreader each time. So you just let it dry, peel it off, and it's good to go. Awesome tool. And tool number five. 
Tool number five is a heat gun. Now, if you saw in my other videos, I use the heat gun more often than I use a torch. I don't really use a torch. Because I find that the heat gun gets the air bubbles out just as good as a torch does but it also allows me to get closer to the material without burning it. This particular heat gun is pretty inexpensive and it has a low and a high. So if you wanted to get different effects, you could adjust the amount of heat or amount of air blowing onto the project. God bless you, Roxy. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but Roxy just sneezed really hard. Anyways, you can get awesome effects using the heat gun and trying and moving the epoxy around with the air that comes out of the heat gun. You can get really cool effects. So this tool right here is invaluable and is one of my favorite tools when working with epoxy. All of these tools, I'm gonna go ahead and link down in the description below so that way it's easy for you to grab some. And don't forget, Christmas is coming up soon, so they'd make a great gift for anybody who is looking forward to making an epoxy project. Guys, if you like this video, once again, hit the subscribe button. Also hit the bell to the right of the subscribe button to notify you anytime I post a new video. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. And go ahead and hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. Everybody, thanks for watching. And as always, thanks for hanging out with us. Thank you.